Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go outside and do some sketching today. You wanna go with me? What are you talking about? You've never been outside with me before. What squirrel attack? Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor, everybody. Well, as we just said, I'm gonna go outside and do a little sketching. Really what it is is a dress rehearsal for this kit. I, I'm trying to put together a small minimal kit and this is just the bare bones minimal setup. I really had anticipated doing a lot more plain air this year than I've been able to do. The weather's getting cold again and it's, it's starting to limit my ability to do so, but I thought, Doug, it, I am gonna get out there. And even though I'm at my house and I'm just gonna go outside, maybe sketch a tree or something, I like to go as if I'm gonna be far from home and give my kit, my setup, a dry run. That way I'm close to home. If I did forget something, I can run in the house, but I've already tested this out uh, one other time and I think this works pretty well so here's what I'm using so I've got two sketchbooks really probably only need to bring one but I have the small the perfect sketchbook which uh, I did a demo of not too long ago that's a nice pocket landscape version I'm also going to take this sketchbook the Stillman and Burn which is a, a portrait a little larger version and they both fit in here nicely got this nice little canvas bag got this this is just an inexpensive Chinese bag from a site called Banggood. I'll put a link down in the description if you're interested, but any small bag works. I just tried to get something that was really small, really light, and held just the basic supplies. My Sennelier travel pan kit, or half pan kit, and these little clips here, I take those. They will actually hold this palette right on one side of the sketchbook so that you can easily hold this on your lap or, or in your hand. But those little clips are nice and you can clip them in different places depending on the sketchbook size. A rag and a blotter. This one usually stays just on my leg underneath my palette as I blot my brushes off on it. This is a wiper to either wipe or blot something up off the painting or to wipe something off my brush. Good to have both. Okay, for drawing, I usually bring a couple watercolor pencils in this case, I know I'm going to just be doing some landscape objects like a tree. So I've got two browns and a regular uh, lead pencil that I don't have to sharpen. That's why I bring a mechanical. A couple of erasers. i got a soft white eraser stick and a kneaded eraser. Now I'm not bringing water and standard brushes. I'm just bringing two water brushes. A round and this Niji chisel tip. Water is contained inside the barrels of both brushes. That's all I need for sketching. In they go. And then pen and ink. I've got a sepia, a fine point sepia, a black pigment micron, and a brush pen, black brush pen, all with waterproof ink. Sometimes you need to sketch quickly and you may not even have time to paint. So you can always paint back at the studio. You may want to just get a quick rendering with pen and ink. A lot of times I like to paint first and then go back and add pen afterwards just to add points of contrast and delineate little detail areas. Both ways work great. And with that, I think we are set to go. Very small, light travel sketch kit.
Well, I think with that, we're going to call this one done. Boy, I really enjoyed that. We've just had some beautiful weather here this week. You don't need much. You just need a minimal kit to do, get out and do some 
some sketching of whatever it is that interests you. Thanks so much for watching everyone. This has been a help to you. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And we'll see you next time.